lovely friends, and guess what? It is the sacred month called October, where kids get candy for free from strangers, which usually parents don't allow, so pretty cool, right? And what I'm going to be doing is turning rocks into pumpkins. <laughs> I know that, that sounds weird, but keep watching. So I have these really smooth rocks, and I'm going to be using some orange paint to paint them into pumpkins and you can put them in your garden as decorations or you can put them in your front door or you could just leave them on the road to make somebody happy so what you're going to need are some flat smooth rocks then some acrylic sealer that is clear and then you need some orange paint an ultra fine dip sharpie and a fine dip sharpie and some paint brushes now let's get started so now it is time to start the painting. So I have to pour the orange paint on this little paint um, pal palette, I, I'm gonna call it. Pour, okay, just that much. Close it. And I'm gonna start painting on this rock. Now you might need a few layers depending on what the color is. So I don't know how many layers I'm gonna need to put on this, but let's see. And let's begin. So now I have finished almost all of them, the first coat on the top half, and I am painting it right now with a smaller brush to fill in all the little cracks so it's fully orange. And this is the first coat, so it's gonna take a few layers to make it actually orange, so it's gonna take a lot of time. And yeah, this is actually really fun to do. It's just fun to see the paint. Also, I just, it's best to paint it in the same direction instead of do it, doing it like this one time and this one time. Because otherwise it'll be uneven and it'll look a little weird. So I just like to keep it in one straight line. So basically today is a rainy day and what I thought was, oh, I can't play outside today so what do I do? And then I got this idea. And right now, since I have nothing better to do, I decided that since I really just don't want to wait for the rocks to dry really slowly like a slug, I have this tiny fan over here and I plugged it in and it's drying the rocks. So, quick dry, right? <laughs> Hello, my lovely friends. So now I am done with painting both sides of the, what I can call pumpkin rock. And now I'm gonna draw the lines and the face of the pumpkin. First I'm gonna do them in pencil and then I'm gonna um, put them in, outline with them, with Sharpie. So for the creases, I'm gonna do it in ultra fine tip Sharpie. And for the other one, it's just gonna be fine point Sharpie. So now I've finished drawing all the faces and lines with with pencil. I don't know if you can see them, but I've drawn the faces. So now I'm gonna go in with Sharpie. So I'm gonna use both these Sharpies. This one I'm gonna use for the really thin lines and the small little details. And this one I'm gonna use to create the face. Let's start. <laughs> making the face of it and it's actually really fun like I'm not gonna show you the full outcome yet so you have to wait till the end surprise <laughs> I'm not gonna give you any spoilers but stay till the end so you can see how all of them look like so now I am doing the faces and 
basically, I'm doing the faces that I chose, but you can do whatever face you want. So, yeah, I just really want to say that. So now I am almost done. I have done all the faces and I really like what I've done. And then there's this one little one. <laughs> this one is probably my favorite and the cutest one, but my most favorite one is this one. <laughs> but the last thing that you have to do is you have to add clear acrylic sealer to it. So this is like spray, so you have to spray it on so it all seals and it won't wipe off or anything. And that's the last thing to do. So so now I am done with them. And this one, this little one right over here, right after I put the Sharpie on, I decided to put the acrylic sealer on, but that was a little mistake. So that's why it looks a little different from the others. So make sure that when you put the acrylic sealer on, you wait that the Sharpie dries a little. But the others look better and fine, so I'm happy with it. But I'll try to, you know, fix this one little by putting the Sharpie on again. And yeah, but also, when you put the acrylic sealer on, don't do it by yourself. It's better to do it with your parents. My mom helped me and did it with me because... It smells like nail polish and it's and it smells kind of weird but also because if it gets to your eyes then it could really hurt and sting so yeah make sure to be careful but this is the end of the video so bye my lovely friends also make sure to like subscribe and turn the post notifications to my youtube channel yeah what he said Burn. 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 Burn.